Hey everyone and welcome to another session in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And you're in the right place to hone and develop your ninja skills with all of your favorite Adobe desktop and mobile design apps. So this is a very quick one and great for the people that paint in Photoshop, I guess, predominantly, because you've got all of these fab brushes, especially since Kyle Webster joined Adobe, tons and tons of brushes to use, and you can get some great effects with them. So for example, I'm just adding some splashes of mud here to the back of this Jeep illustration, like so. But don't you ever wish that those brushes could be erasers as well? I'm sure there are plenty of times you could use that. Well, the thing is, you can. I'm going to show you how. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just draw a marquee on this layer up here and then use Alt Backspace or Option Backspace to fill that with color. I'll then deselect that. And using the same brush, if I switch to my brush tool, I'm just going to paint under here so you can see it is a brush. And the answer is to use the clear blending mode. You'll see that if I switch out to the clear blending mode, then it will work as an eraser, like so. If I just undo that, now there's a quick way to get to that via the keyboard. Okay, if you hold Shift and Alt and tap. N, that takes you to the normal blending mode when you've got the brush selected. Shift and Alt or Option, of course, on a Mac and R switches to the clear blending mode. So there you go. Most of the brushes work with that, although not all. Some of them work slightly differently, but you can get a great deal of mileage out of working with these as an eraser to fine tune your illustrations. And that's it for this session. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, then let me know underneath. And once you're subscribed, make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you next time. See ya.